Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Total Health Turnaround. Today, I'm taking you on a wild ride through the aisles of the grocery store as I embark on a journey to eat the 10 worst foods for our health. From mystery ingredients to dubious manufacturing processes, these foods are a nightmare for your body. By the end of this video, you will know 10 foods to avoid at all costs when going to the grocery store. Ready to uncover the truth behind these toxic treats? Let's dive right in. Before we start, here is a quick disclaimer. This journey is purely for educational purposes only. I would never eat these foods and I hope you never do either. By the end of this video, you'll understand why it's so important to choose whole unprocessed foods instead. Let's get started with our first terrible contender. First up, sugary breakfast cereal. These brightly colored rings might look fun, but let's look closer at what's inside. Typical contents of these highly colored and processed cereals are sugar, corn syrup, Artificial colors, red 40 and blue number one. BHT, which is a preservative. Now let's find out how it's made. At the factory, corn flour is mixed with sugar and corn syrup. Artificial colors and flavors are added. Then the mixture is extruded into shapes and toasted. Now let's discuss why it's bad. First of all, it's high in sugar. This can spike your blood sugar levels and contribute to weight gain and possibly diabetes. The artificial additives are linked to hyperactivity in children and they are potentially a carcinogen. This cereal has a low nutritional value. It lacks fiber and essential nutrients. Next on our list, instant noodles. You may say they're convenient, but at what cost? Let's discuss their ingredients. This highly processed product contains enriched wheat flour, palm oil, salt, MSG, also known as monosodium glutamate, and artificial flavors. Here's how it's made. Wheat flour is mixed with water and salt to make dough. The dough is rolled out, cut into noodles, and then steamed. The noodles are then fried in palm oil and dried. Then flavor packets are added. Okay, ready for the bad news? These noodles are high in sodium, which can lead to hypertension and heart disease. MSG or monosodium glutamate can cause headaches and other symptoms in sensitive individuals. Unhealthy fats, fried in palm oil, which is high in saturated fats, and it's also on the list of oils that you should avoid. Next on our list are processed cheese slices. They may seem like a quick sandwich fix, but let's find out what's really inside. This fake cheese is made from milk protein concentrate, whey, milk fat, sodium citrate, and artificial colors. Here's how this is made. A blend of milk, whey, and milk fat is mixed with emulsifiers and then heated. This mixture is then formed into slices and cooled. What's bad about this? First of all, it's very low in real cheese contains more filler and additives than actual cheese. It is also high in sodium and saturated fats, which contributes to heart disease and high blood pressure. Those artificial additives include preservatives and colorings. For our next item on the terrible list, frozen pizza, the go-to for many busy nights. But the question is, what are we eating? These unhealthy gems are made from enriched flour, 
tomato paste, mozzarella cheese substitute, various preservatives like BHA and BHT, and sodium nitrite. Here's how they're made in the factory. Dough is prepared from enriched flour and partially baked. Then they're topped with tomato paste, cheese substitute, and processed meats. Then they are flash frozen for storage. So here's the bad news. They are high in sodium and preservatives which are linked to heart disease and cancer. The highly processed meats that they top the pizzas with contain nitrates and nitrites. And overall, they are a low nutritional value, high in calories and low in nutrients. Next on our bad list is microwave popcorn, a movie night favorite, but let's look behind the curtain. These bags contain popcorn kernels, palm oil, artificial butter flavor called diacetyl, and salt. Here's how they make this popcorn. First, the kernels are coated in oil and flavorings. As an added bonus, their packages are lined with perfluorinated compounds, or PFCs, which are very bad for humans. Lastly, the artificial butter, which contains diacetyl, is linked to lung disease. I think the problems with this product are obvious, but first of all, it's high in unhealthy fats and sodium, which contribute to heart disease. The PFCs, or the chemicals in the bag lining, are linked to cancer. Feeling shocked yet? Stick with me because the worst is yet to come. Next we're going to uncover more grocery store horrors that you want to avoid. Canned soup, seemingly a healthy choice, but let's peel back the label. The contents are water, modified cornstarch, MSG, sodium phosphate and artificial colors. Here's how they make it. Ingredients are mixed and cooked under high pressure. Then they're packaged in BPA lined cans for a long shelf life. Now let's talk about what's wrong with this picture. First of all these soups are high in sodium and preservatives which can lead to high blood pressure. The BPA chemical lining in the cans is linked to hormonal disruptions and cancer. Lastly, the artificial additives contribute to poor nutrition. Next on our terrible list, potato chips, the crunchy snack we all love. But here's the crunch. These things are made from potatoes, vegetable oil, salt, artificial flavors like barbecue, sour cream, and onion. Here's how they make them. First, the potatoes are sliced thin and fried in oil. Vegetable oil. Then they're flavored with artificial seasonings and preservatives. So what could possibly be wrong with eating these? Well, they're high in unhealthy fats and sodium which contributes to obesity and heart disease. And acrylamide, a chemical formed during the high temperature cooking, is linked to cancer. Potato chips are low in nutritional value, high in calories, and low in essential nutrients. Next up are sodas. Soda is a ubiquitous beverage choice, but it's more than just bubbles. Sodas are made with carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, phosphoric acid, and caffeine. Here's how they make it. Water is carbonated and mixed with high fructose corn syrup and flavorings. The product is then bottled and pasteurized for shelf stability. Now let's talk about why it's not good for us. Sodas are high in sugar, which contribute to obesity, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome. Soda contains phosphoric acid, which can weaken bones and teeth. And lastly, sodas are completely void of any calories. It provides not a single bit of nutritional benefit. 
next on our bad list are packaged baked goods like muffins and pastries. They seem convenient, but here's the catch. They're made from enriched flour, sugar, partially hydrogenated oils, also known as trans fats, artificial flavors and colors, and preservatives. Here's how they're made. The dough is mixed with sugar and fats. Then they're baked and treated with preservatives for a long shelf life. Here's why they're bad for us. Number one, trans fats are linked to heart disease and inflammation. They are high in sugar, which contributes to weight gain and diabetes. And the artificial additives are linked to various health issues. Last on our terrible list, hot dogs. Let's unwrap this ugly truth. Hot dogs are made from mechanically separated meat, corn syrup, sodium nitrate, artificial flavors and colors. At the factory, meat is ground and mixed with fillers, flavorings and preservatives. The dogs are then formed into shapes and cooked. So what could be wrong with these? First of all, they're high in sodium and preservatives, both linked to heart disease and cancer. Nitrates and nitrites can form carcinogenic compounds. Hot dogs have low nutritional value. They're very high in unhealthy fats and low in essential nutrients. Wow, what a journey. As we've seen, these highly processed foods are packed with harmful ingredients and provide little to no nutritional value. Additionally, our bodies must filter and attempt to eliminate the harmful contents of these foods. The moral of the story is, avoid these highly processed and fast foods as often as possible and choose whole unprocessed foods instead where you have control over what's in your food. Whole foods contain important nutrients, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that our bodies need. Your body deserves the best, and by opting for fresh fruits, vegetables, healthy proteins, and healthy fats, you're fueling it with the nutrients it needs to thrive. Thank you so much for watching this video today. We really do appreciate your kind support. Please share this video with someone you know that needs help avoiding certain foods at the grocery store. Also, please leave a comment below and tell me if you learned anything from this video. Until next time, I will see you in the next video.